What is going on guys and girls, Sarge B here, and uh, we are back with some more Sky Factory. So, um, you may have noticed that things look a little bit different than the last time uh, we left off. I took the time to, you know, build ourselves a little hut here with a bed that I threw together, and uh, boy did I do a lot of grinding. So, here are just some, that's an empty chest, but we uh, went and got ourselves a furnace, I cooked up some charcoal so we can, you know, cook the ev in inevitable crucible that we're gonna make. Wow, I butchered that one. Uh, just to show you how much I grinded um, some stone and dust to get all the stone and all the bone meal for that for those uh, eight porcelain right here. Here's all the remainders, which is quite a bit. <laughs> it didn't take me too long, but uh, boy was it tedious. Uh, I found out that you don't have to keep clicking on the sieve to make it uh, go. You just have to hold down which I wish I knew about that sooner. Um, it started raining, so I had to, you know, put a top over the barrels, otherwise it would have been bad. Um, just, you know, updated the, the look, added in some fences so we don't fall off. Yay! And uh, this is my chest full of material so far, so quite a bit of saplings, quite a bit of raw wood, quite a bit of planks, and uh, that is over a stack now of uh, silkworms. So... First things first, um, we have all the porcelain clay we need to make a, uh, a raw crucible, an unfired crucible, and one more in case we ever need it, I suppose. And uh, I suppose it's just time to go cook this thing in a furnace. Let's, uh, let's cook you up. So the achievement book says, um, make clay into water, did that. Craft and cook a crucible, which is what we're doing now. And then uh, heat a crucible with a torch and insert stones or cobble to make lava. Now, I was saving some of this cobblestone to make, um, what's it, what's it called? To make, a, a cobblestone generator. But I suppose what we can do is we can use some of this dirt we already have here and make some stones and see how much lava we get from each of them. So we'll just sieve through this dirt. Got some potato seeds. We got nine stone. And then let's just get, uh, some more dirt. We'll use our, uh, saplings here. So I started off the other day night after i stopped recording i was you know focused on getting a bunch of leaves and stuff but after seeing how much saplings we had i just decided to do away with leaves and just straight up start compressing saplings because that's you know we had a whole bunch um so that's where this is where i'm planning on putting the cobblestone generator once it's all said and done but um we do need a place to rest the crucible so why not let's put it right over here how about that um if we can actually get down over here we might need to build it off in a new place where we can you know see the underside of things so how about what we do is we'll just um hmm let's think about how we're gonna do this because <laughs> i'm realizing now with um the way we've been building out the platforms it's gonna be hard to get a torch underneath what we need um maybe if we destroy this out right here and then we destroy this out right here we'll replace this with a wooden block like so so that we can place uh, our extraneous torch that we have in here i think uh right underneath here like so and then we'll just place our crucible right there now i don't know if it needs any like i don't know if it's gonna set everything on fire if it gets too hot or not here's hoping it doesn't but um here we got more dirt and let's just press it all into some more stones. And then I suppose we'll see how much stones do as compared to just... Ah, we can just turn it straight into more cobblestone, can't we? And then I guess we'll just chuck in these four right in here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's almost enough for... Oh, four of them will be enough for one bucket of lava. Okay, cool. Now, wait, how do we get that lava? Is there a recipe for a bucket that doesn't require iron? That's not how you spell bucket. Uh, well, there's the normal bucket. Oh, so there is a, a clay bucket that we need more clay for. Okay, um, how do we get an unfired? Okay, so we can make more clay. Um, I guess we will just take... Here, let's get two more pieces of dirt or however many it'll take. And uh, we'll turn that into clay and then make a bucket with it. And then I suppose we will get all the lava because this is going to take a while to get that lava through and through 
So in the meantime, I guess we will build our frame for our cobblestone generator. And then uh, perhaps, who knows, maybe do some other stuff. Because once we do that, we will be out of the wooden age, which will be very nice. Um, so I guess we'll put that there, there. Um, we're going to need a template of about five here. And then the walls like this, right? It's been a while since I've built a cobblestone generator. Um, it's actually been a real long time since I've built a cobblestone generator. But hopefully this is probably right. Um, like that. And then one, two. That should work. I think this is a pretty standard cobblestone generator. I hope. Eesh. Who knows? Uh, let's take some of our slabs and uh, expand out the platform a little bit. Just expand it out this way. Like so. Out here. Do one behind here. And do the same on the other side. Uh, we will not have enough slabs to do it. But, oh well. We can make more pretty easily. Run over here. Take the dirt we've made. Sieve it through here. What's the action of putting something through a sieve? Sifting? I suppose that's what it is. We shall put down this right here. Oops. That was not supposed to go there. And now, one, two. That should be enough. Hopefully we don't fall off the edge anytime soon, which unfortunately I feel like I probably will at some point. But, oh well. That might happen, it might not. Who knows? Um, in the meantime, we got, what do we want from the dirt? Um, more cobblestone so that we can take these two and turn it into a block, or at least one of them, and turn it into a block of clay. Or a block of, what is it? Uh, dust to turn into clay put it here and there we go dust we can stick you right in here pull out the clay oh, I guess you have to break it to get it into the little clay bits all right you got four of them and now we just turn that into a hey there we go an unfired clay bucket all right so now we go and toss that right into here and uh, it w should produce us a uh, yeah, a pretty good chunk of bucket right there. I meant to say that if we take the wood, it'll give us a nice chunk of charcoal if we put it in there. Uh, five, six, probably that'll be about how much it'll take. And we'll just stick that right in there and we'll take our clay bucket right here. Hey, look at already getting experience. All right, so we're gonna take this bucket and when this turns into lava, we will pull that out and put it over to here. Now, in the meantime, we need to do the same with water. I think we have to do the water first because I think these buckets... I don't think clay buckets last, do they? Clay bucket? I think they're... I don't know. They had a description, right? Early alternative to standard iron bucket, like their iron counterparts, they can use to be transferred liquids, but will break after pouring out a hot liquid. Yeah. That's what I read. Uh, so we can only use it once on here. Hopefully it'll do more with water. Who knows? As you slowly compress. Um, other than that, I think we're good. You know what? In the meantime, let's get into a good habit of chopping down trees while we're doing this. I got a lot of super huge trees that caused uh, a lot of annoyance to collect. And, you know, it was good at the end of the day that it was, you know, available that we got that huge tree. But it was annoying to have to climb up, like, extreme heights just to get the dang trees. Uh, let's make two more crooks. And there we go. Two more right there. We're going to need a new axe after this, too, because this is not going to cut them all down. Boop. And we'll take all the leaves. Look at all the saplings we have now. Alrighty. Now, the one thing we are going to need is a pickaxe, which I'm not sure if we can make a standard pickaxe outside of Tinker's Construct while Tinker's Construct is installed. Hopefully, we can. 
I suppose, let's see, shall we? Let's do this, and let's see if we can make a standard pickaxe here. Uh, durability 59 out of 59, so hopefully it will actually work. Uh, and we will be able to, uh, to mine out the stone that comes from our cobblestone generator. This is almost ready. Ooh, we're about 300 away. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. We have everything here that we needed. We are really running out of food fast. Um, in the meantime, I guess let's grow one more tree. Twerk for those trees right here. And, um, yeah, once our water's ready, we'll go transplant that, which I think it just about is. And then we will be good to go. Hey, there we are. Got all this, and then we'll just, uh... Break down the wood manually, I suppose. No point in making an axe right now when we're not going to use it. And last piece it should be. Nope, one more. Tall tree we got. Alright, so water is all good. Let's pick it up. Let's go put it into this part of the generator. I'll put it on the near side so that we're not going to possibly jump into it. Ah, shoot. I just realized that I probably did that wrong, didn't I? Or actually, let's do this right here, right? So that way it's not going to overflow everything. That should probably work. Alrighty, so what do we do? We, uh, well, we're about to be able to check this off once this is done. Ooh, only a couple more seconds to go before that is full lava. So we'll just say that that's good. And then uh, we're going to build a cobblestone generator. Let's see what's next on our list into the Stone Age. Now they have a good source of blocks. It's time to expand, upgrade, and improve your island a little bit. Make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs and obtaining loot. Hmm. Interesting. Build a second layer to your island below the level you started from. Hmm. This is all pretty interested. interesting. Enchant a sieve mesh. That's a thing? Weird. Make a watering can. Wow, so many things. Alright, so I guess we need to do first a dark room. 25 blocks away. We'll see what we can get for that. But, I think our lava is indeed ready. Awesome. So we can get this lava and um, let's go put it into our thing now. Alrighty. Gonna put it right here. And there goes the clay pot. Now hopefully this will work like it's supposed to. If not, we might have some trouble on our hands. I'm not sure if you're supposed to make it one closer to the water source. I'm not sure. Ah, here goes nothing. Dang it. I knew that would happen. Because the water takes too much time to get over to where... Or the lava... Water moves faster than the lava. So, this is going to be a little bit difficult. Hmm. Alright, well. Here goes nothing, right? Ah! Dang it. Missed it. Alright. Well, we'll just do this now. Alrighty. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's try this again. Hey, there we go. That's what we wanted. So, now we should be able to... Nope, because that's... We're just back to where we started with this now. Hmm. Might have to improve the uh, cobblestone generator from this point onwards, but hopefully it'll work like it's supposed to. Nope. It really does not seem to want to. Alright, we'll just put you there. We'll collect you. Alright, like that. Alright, so one of you is going to have to go over about here. Then you're going to have to go right here. Yep. And then you right there. Alright, let's see. Nope, this just, the water just keeps moving on and on. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. This is supposed to be down one, isn't it? Alright, well, let's figure this out. I'll do this. Uh, real quick, and then we will get back to mining some cobblestone. 
All right, so we are back. <laughs> I did some little off-camera grinding in the meantime, and uh, so we have all the cobblestone that we need right here for now. Um, I fixed up the generator, and yeah, I was right. You need this little space down here in the generator, and the water, and the, the lava, and the dabba dabba dabba, dabba dee dabba die dabba dee. Um, and then I went out of my way to get this stuff, uh, gravel, sand, and clay, because we use those to make, uh, seared bricks. So, whoops, that is not how you spell seared. Uh, seared bricks right here. So, um, we get that from grout, and to make grout, you need this. So, we are going to make that, because one of the achievements in the achievement book is to make, um, make a Tinker's Construct Smeltery. To, uh, ah, shoot. I should have paid attention to where I was clicking. Um, boop, 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 boop. Um, I, yeah, so I made sure I got a pretty large amount of this stuff. Just the, uh, the amount that we would need to... Oh, I guess they didn't make enough clay. Uh, which kind of sucks because I need... What, how much more clay do I need? Uh, two more clay? Alright, well, that'll be a pain in the butt to get. But let's get it, I suppose. Let's put this here, and let's get two more clay. We'll just do it individually, I suppose. Boop! And then get these two more gravel. I suppose we'll put the sand down here, too. Um, one, two. All right. And then we'll get the sand. And then we shall get the dust to turn into clay. Luckily, I was already prepping up a thing of water, so we have one piece, and now we just need to wait for the second piece to go out. Um, but in the meantime, we can start constructing and smelting some of the seared bricks that we're going to need. So we have all this grout right here. Let's go throw it into our, uh, our uh, furnace right here. We'll stick in a piece of charcoal. Actually, um, we're going to need, what, two pieces of charcoal? For this, uh, so we'll throw in the grout, and it should start turning into seared bricks, which then the seared bricks will then allow us to make the smeltery, um, and then the smeltery, what am I talking about? I'm going to need, like, f an extra four in there to make this, um, so the smeltery, I'm thinking, will, will knock out two achievements with one stone, so we're gonna make the, uh, we're gonna make the smeltery, and then I think we'll build it on a layer below the island just to get two achievements out of the way and then from there we can build out um you know the dark room and the field of grass and all that stuff so why don't we just start building that out now i suppose we're going to need some more water so once this is done or you know what um we don't have enough clay to make another bucket which i guess we should have thought about unless there's like a stone bucket or something like that uh bucket Let's see, all the different kinds of buckets we can make. Uh, there's a clay, and that's about all the buckets we can get. All right, awesome. Isn't that great? So I suppose we might put off that achievement for now, just so that we can... Uh, if we make the Tinker's Construct Smeltery, we can take some of the iron seeds we've gotten here from smelting stuff, and I think these craft into... Yeah, uh, so iron ore chunks. And then with the chunks... We can smelt those in a smeltery to get more iron, and then with that, we can do a whole bunch of other things, like, you know, make tools and weapons with iron. Which, then, I suppose, as we go on, like, uh, if we were to upgrade the cobblestone generator with, well, the cobblestone generator block, which is apparently a thing. Um, let's get that. Cobblestone, oops. Cobblestone generator. Um, let's see, where is it? Cobblestone generator tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. Uh, let's see. How, what do we need? We need clear glass, or just a stained piece of glass, so it can take any block of glass. Uh, what does this mean? Lava bucket, I suppose, and a water bucket, and then it gives us a cobblestone generator. Alright, so that makes sense. Uh, that should be simple enough. We just need to make more buckets and stuff like that, and then we can, uh, actually make an upgraded cobblestone generator. So we should probably get started on that. Let's get, um, let's get, take another piece of cobblestone. We'll turn it into another piece of sand so we can smelt it into glass when we get there. And then we'll make the, this here. We'll turn it into glass when we get the chance. 
Uh, let's go take our dust and turn it into another piece of clay. Like so. Uh, we'll compress more leaves into water. There we are. And let's go check up on how we are doing over here in the furnace. Lots of seared bricks so far. But we need to turn these all back into uh, seared or grout, I should say. I am grout. Alright, that should be good. Um, hopefully that's, well, that's all we need. But in the meantime, let's start turning these into actual seared bricks. So we can get the, the base layout of a, you know, construct going. Let's get some wood and let's expand a little bit, I suppose. And get some of our wood from over here. Uh, planks. Let's turn you all into planks. Some of these. Whoop. Uh, 58 planks. That should be enough, at least for a base of, a. Uh, Tinker's Construct Smeltery. Where do we want to build out our smeltery? I suppose... Let's start doing like a tiered island here, I suppose. We'll do right here. We'll go out into a smeltery. And the smeltery doesn't have to be, you know, on a block too big. But, um... Yeah, it'll just go out right here. And then we'll build outwards from here. Like so. Alrighty. Uh, build this. And then we'll build it out one more. We'll do the same thing over here. Like that. And then this area will now turn into where we are going to put our smeltery. Um, so we want like the foreground, or we want like a little underground passage here for the main part of the smeltery. And then we can uh, cap it off like that, I suppose. And then we'll go out one more. And then we will uh, do what we always do and give it a nice accented design here into a circle. Let's break you. Alrighty, so uh, we have our, you know, beginning four bricks, so we might as well put them down. Eat a little bit of apple first. And uh, there we go. Now, I believe you can do it with just a four by four. I'm not really sure. Maybe we should pull out tinkers and you or whatever it is uh materials and you guide that it has we're gonna need one more piece of charcoal which i'm not sure that we have yeah i'm not sure real where i put it so we're just gonna need to put another eight pieces in here or six six should be what it needs after that's done burning through uh let's get materials and you let's read up on it materials and you all right got it let's do um Crafting, pickaxes, that's not what I need. I need the, uh, what is it? Where are you going to tell me how to build up the, ah, here it is. All right, the smeltery can be any size from 3x3 to 11x11. All right. And any height from, an, from a minimum of 2. All right, that makes sense. So we are going to need more than I thought, probably. Oh, well. Uh, so that means let's break out this right here. Break out this one right here. All right. And then break out these three. Like so. Alrighty. So those three broken out. And then we'll just... We'll do this here. God, this place looks so ugly. I'm going to need to beautify it up at some point. But, alright. So that works. Like that. Um, we'll just do that. Just to make sure it's nice and even. Um, hmm. Alright, well here's the beginning. For at least. So that'll be a 3x3. Three three. Let's convert some of these over. So that's another 6. So this is enough for our base and then some. Alrighty. So now that we have that, we're going to need to make some of the uh, the special blocks that we need. So, like, we're going to need a spout. The Let's go back to, to uh, the smeltery blocks. So, let's see. Uh, seared. Seared blocks. Um, we're going to need a seared tank. So, uh, so, it's just a bunch of things over glass. 
We're going to need that. We're going to need a controller block, I believe. Um, furnace controller, which is that over another furnace. And then, um, what's the last thing? Uh, a spout and a gauge or something like that? Um, what's it called? Let's see. A uh, spout? Spout? No. Um, faucet. Oh, there it is. Seared faucet. Uh, so it only needs three. So we're going to need a lot more bricks. Basically is what I'm gathering here. So it looks like another time to pause. Alrighty. So it looks like the smelter is going to take a lot more substance than I thought it would. We are... This is how much uh, progress I've made in like the past 20 minutes or so of just sitting here waiting so it's gonna take quite a bit before we're anywhere near ready to uh yeah anywhere near ready to uh build this smeltery fully up so i figured i'd at least end the episode here for now um we can get back to it uh i'll probably be doing a live stream soon and then that will be cut up and put here onto youtube so that'll probably be the next episode and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um if you did leave a like if you uh if you really liked it and uh, otherwise comment subscribe do all those wonderful things follow me on social media all the links are in the description and at the end card and uh, other than that i hope you guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed we made uh, quite a bit of process or uh, progress today yeah it was a process to make that progress but uh and that's about it i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>